Hi, this is Beer Pens. I'm actually shaking today now as I sit here. The national mainstream news media doesn't do anything to help the innocent victims of violent crimes. Um, this headline came across my path. Let me just go to Facebook. See how quick it takes me. I want to switch my camera off. Yes. Now this is still a young lady. Chantal de Lange, a 25-year-old Kiensburg resident, was on her way home and about 200 meters from her residence in Huntley Road when she was attacked by an unknown African male. He came out of nowhere, grabbed Chantal and stabbed her through the heart. Only her phone was taken. Now when I read this the first time I thought to myself maybe I reposted a fake news article. And I went to the news article and it looks legitimate. And it tells the story of what happened. So let us just go and see if there's a, a really a Chantel. Sadly, there is such a person on Facebook. And sadly, I know I'm with the right person. Because of this entry. The last entry she made on the timeline was 15 February at 11.44. But then I get to a, a Zainal Aberdeen that says, Rest in peace. And I get to a Yandre Welchmoed. Zain, please see if you can do a good story on this and the lack of assistance from the local authorities. Now Chantel was engaged to Shane Willefeer at this time of her Facebook profile and she got engaged in 2017 so it was a recent engagement. If you look at the profile, she's just a young girl battling to survive in a hard South Africa. A news page has did a very, very good story about uh, the incident. Go to newspage.co.za and read the article. It's so saddening. I cannot believe it. 200 meters from her home because the cops is understaffed. How is that? How is that possible? Hasn't this community got a community policing forum yet? Haven't they set up their WhatsApp groups yet? Or are they too scared that they will have to encounter with drug dealers and pimps? Well, people, that's how you save a community, is when you confront these people. They got hold of Bel Air Saps, but little to no assistance was received, and then they only managed to dispatch a vehicle almost an hour later, claiming they were understaffed by then Chantel already succumbed to the injuries. But then again, people, if a person is hurt, you get an ambulance. The ambulance will come to the scene, they will handle the scene, they will mark it as a, a crime scene, and the police will then come and take over from the ambulance personnel after they've stabilized the person. This is so sad in so many ways. This could have been avoided or, or just been handled differently. Steve Lloyd, the local resident, claims that there has been more than five robberies in the same area this week and nothing gets done. Steve, my friend, it's called community policing. You guys have to get a forum together. If you don't know how, please WhatsApp me on 083 584 
0614-242-7473. I can help you to get a police community forum going. And I can assure you that that will help the police to get enough vehicle and enough staff to sort out any criminal activities in your area. It is just the way that it works. Chantel, may you rest in peace. May your transition from this side to the other side be a peaceful and soft one. May your loved ones find comfort in your unfortunate and brutal departure. We can only pray for them. It's so sad. Beer Pen signing off.